something is currently happening in Liberia and I'm almost certain that you know about it as well. It's something that's been in the making for the past, let's say five to 10 years, but mainly in the past three years, Liberians all over the world are going through a revolution. Liberia as a country currently is going through a revolution. Now, this revolution is not bad. It's not revolution like we would think, especially we Liberian have gone through so many traumas, right? This is a good thing. And it's happening right now. And 2023 is gonna see a lot more. In the next five years, Liberia is gonna be a different landscape. And I don't want you to be left behind and I want you to be fully aware. So let's talk about it. A few years back when we started going to Liberia or started doing a YouTube channel, there were a few inquiries. People were just interested in seeing what was happening in Liberia. People were interested in seeing if the country is moving forward, if the, if the standard of living is normalized, if things are normal in Liberia. Now, with the trend of people going back often and often, People are looking, maybe we can actually move back or live here. Now, things in Liberia are pretty cheap. Acquiring land is cheap. Building a house is relatively cheap and all of that stuff. The more and more people that do these, there's going to be a revolution where everybody, Liberians all around the world, will see the idea, the advantages, right? The importance of owning land or property back home is coming. If you think about 10 years ago, most Liberians just wanted to be out of Liberia. Liberian living in the diaspora has never thought about going back. Liberians who are in Liberia only thought about leaving the country. Not so much anymore. With social media, with the influencers that are portraying Liberia in a good light, with channels like mine and other YouTubers out there showing other side of Liberia that you didn't know about living in the diaspora. Most of you guys who've left for 20 years, 30 years, didn't have any idea until you started seeing these things. Now, most of you hadn't been back for a long time until you made that first visit. I made a video not too long ago about the effect of visiting Liberia, right? You know, if you've been there and you live in a diaspora, that it takes just one visit to go back home for you to fall in love again with your home country. Now, with social media nowadays, you see what's going on people of non-Liberian background, white, black, Asian, people who are going back to Africa as a whole is becoming a thing. We got CEOs and musicians and uh, like great men and women who are going to Africa and seeing, wow, this is a great land. There's a sense of peace that you get there, especially for black people. And it's so easy and it's prevalent and it's, and, and it's something that's captivating that when it happens just one time, it, it's a lasting sensation. You get rappers from America, musicians, you got politicians, you got business owners and CEO are touching the land of Africa and it's changing their lives. Not only that, but you're seeing the potential. Africa is what the third, don't, 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 um, uh, Hang me on this. What is it? The third or second largest continent? I think the second, right? Largest continent. But not just that. Population-wise, half Africa has, I think, the youngest population, if not the, either the first or the second youngest population of all the continents. And with all these people, with the potential of, uh, of, of in industrialization, Africa is a great land, greenery, resources, minerals. They are seeing the potential of Africa. Now, China, not too long ago, I made a video about this. China, not too long ago, was like Africa, right? There wasn't anything. It was bare land, Dubai, the United Emirates, so it's like Africa. Bare lands and things like that until a few generations of people started noticing the potential, started noticing the significance of this land. And once people get on it, there's no stopping. And Liberians has already gotten on it. Right now, Liberians all around the world have seen. But now, even though I'm seeing this, a lot of you guys, a lot of us Liberians out there that really hasn't put Liberia on the radar yet. You know, we're still focused on where you're at. Build your life wherever you're at because that's first and foremost, that's where you've established your, your life, your family, 
However, don't forget, Liberia is coming. We tend to be focused too much on politics, right? What is this government doing? What is that government doing? Now, we're forgetting to know that the real power lies within the people. A businessman, trust me, is more powerful than a president. But what I'm trying to say is this, right? When I say more powerful than the president, meaning they influence these pres these presidential uh, candidates, the, 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 the results of the election or the policies, politicians, all of these people make laws and changes laws that gear towards these mega million, billion dollar company CEOs to make sure, because here's why I'm saying this, right? A person that employs 200,000 people, if you as a president or a leader do something that affects that person's business and that person decides to eat or close or stuff, if 100,000 employees work for you, that's like almost 700,000 people who will be affected because it's those people and their family and their friends and everybody who they're supporting. So that person is more powerful. So let's not focus too much on politics. We as individual Liberians have more influence on that country than the government does. Trust me. The private sector is one of the most powerful sectors in any country. The things that we as people can do. So the revolution is coming, which is Liberians all around the world are going to see the significant importance of owning the property in Liberia or land. If you are a Liberian, I get it. People trash, we trash Liberia, we want to go back. And say, if you're a Liberian, you have to at least own land in Liberia. You have to have a legacy. Your kids may grow up someday and want to connect back to their roots and their parents don't have anything back home. You have to reconnect back home. You have to own land, at least own a property, start building. Because there's going to be a time where all these things that people are doing for cheap. Joel bought a land 2017 for $800. That land right now can be bought for less than $1,700. So those who are building and buying now, there's going to be a revolution where people are going to be capturing land. I've, I've been in Liberia. Like I said, people are buying hundreds of acres, 50 acres. They have seen something. that's a feeling of a renaissance that's on the cups of a reappearing of Liberia. Right. So let's not sleep on. Let's not focus on politics too much. Like, oh, this, this, this and this and this. And like, all of those things don't matter. We as people have more influence on the country than the government does. So. What I'm saying is reconnect back home, own at least land or two, like a, a, a lot or a plot or acre, buy as many acres as you can, make plans to do something with it. And let's really take back because what's going to happen is people outside of the country are seeing this. Foreigners are seeing this. The amount of emails and inquiries I've gotten from non-Liberians who want to buy up land in Liberia, acquire property in Liberia because they're seeing what is happening. And you are seeing it. Just look on your social media. You see the amount of people who are building back home. You see the amount of people who are buying land back home. Don't be left behind. Because there will be a time where you want to do it. And it's going to be a hustle. And other people are going to get wealthy off of this. Other Liberians who are starting to buy up these lands and build these properties. Whether it being residential or commercial. There will be a time they're going to be making a lot of money. They're going to be the people that you're going to be looking at for. You're going to be sorting out to help you or to acquire property from them. The same way now in New York, those who bought uh, these old buildings from years and years ago, that, that their family has that generational wealth, right? They own these properties on key landmarks that now they're reaping the benefits. So don't be left behind. There's a revolution coming. And don't be left behind if you're Liberian or a part of the world. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and get it to as many people as possible. Have a good one.